So for this project, I want to make a cutting board, and this is my wife's piano, and that's what I want to I want the cutting board to look like. So uh, the other shell of the piano is mahogany, and I'll be using cherry for this section. And then the ivory keys, I'll use uh, maple, and for the black keys, I'll use walnut. Now the idea for this project came to me about a year ago. Uh, I wanted to, I just finished my uh, a cutting board, uh, two inch thick cutting board and I wanted to make it a bit trickier and I started googling for end grain piano cutting board and that's where I ended up stumbling on Lumberjock which I had no idea about so if you love woodworking I'll leave a link for Lumberjocks in uh, the description. And in the lumberjock, there was the one, I think it was called suit and tie cutting board and green cutting board. And it's all maple, round, uh, sorry, it's all uh, walnut round and the keys are uh, maple. And I'll leave also a link uh, in the description for this project. And this fellow, which the name, I, I don't remember the name, I ended up giving credit to another, another fellow. Uh, which I'll leave a link as well for his uh, piano and green cutting board. So uh, it's not the first cutting board that's made like that and I want to give credits to people. Uh, although I took all my measurement off this one and that's what I'm going to go off for uh, my build. Okay, so I've got my uh, bottom keys done. Uh, those here are going to be the top keys for it. And uh, keep in mind it's end grain, so it's still going to change. But basically, what this is here is like the, the C note, and then you have C sharp, and, and so on, right? And, and then uh, those are going to be another section uh, which starts with the F. And then uh, this one also has those ones ready that's gonna go over top here so I'm gonna build four blocks it's four different blocks and what I'm doing right now is I want the distance without the walnut strip because I've got a little walnut strip here and in behind in between every row except for the outside because it, it doubles up when it comes here and like you go C D E F like you, you've got the little strip already in there. So what I want to figure out here is how thick my maple strip is going to be on the outside and then I, I'm going to have uh, a walnut strip on the outside on the right side. So I'm going to do that for both. So I just fitting, finished milling my outside strips here and I can't feel it here like I'm, I'm flush. That, so that one turned out really really good. On this one uh, I do have a bit of a, I would say about a, not even a 16, but uh, I'm going to do the glue up and then uh, when the glue up's done I'll just just shave that on, on the table saw and then I'll be able to match those ones because the, the reason I want to do that I want to make sure the two sets of blocks are the exact same width so when I end up putting them together they're, they're gonna match up together so so this is a little jig I use when I want to make some in, in, in wood, wood inlay strips so uh, I'm gonna use that just because I know that it's 90 and that it's flat and straight and I don't want any distortion in those pieces so basically what I'll do is 
put those in here and clamp them. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to put some packing tape for the glue, uh, for the glue up squeeze out, so I don't have any issues with that. And so I use tight bond three for a few reasons. Uh, first, it's water resistant, so when you uh, wash your board uh, after using it with a wet towel, it won't affect it. Uh, secondly, it's because it's food safe. So uh, when building a cutting board, uh, it's really important to choose the proper glue to uh, do your glue ups. And that's why in this case I'm using Type Bond 3. So my glue up is all done. And what I need to do now is because those pieces need to be plain in the planer to, to get both sides nice and even and the same thickness. So what I need to do, because they're uh, pretty short and you should never put anything that's shorter than uh, a foot in your planer, I'm going to put some, uh, I guess we could call them uh, guides. Uh, so I'm going to spot glue them on each side. So that's going to take care of the fact that they're pretty short and also it's going to take care of the snipes. So for those of you who don't know what a snipe is, the snipe is that little piece of material, extra material that your planer takes when the first roller feeds it in and then when it hits the second roller that's when the blade raises, and you end up like with a, a little uh, discrepancy. So I, I wouldn't be able to use that section. So here what I did, I trued up one face on the belt sander because it was kind of a, the glue leftovers and stuff. And then uh, I just uh, matched the other side uh, with the fence here on the table saw on all the blocks. And now I'm ready for the glue up. So this glue up is pretty critical. Uh, all the blocks have been made with the same pattern. So therefore they're uh, the same uh, size and, and the, the same length and the same height but what I need to do is to make sure that uh, I don't have any issue with one being uh, poking out further than the other one so for that reason I'm using that piece of straight edge on one side and clamps on the other uh, this is uh, the cherry so I'm starting to build the uh, second half of the board and I'm going to be pretty quick on this one because it's basically just uh, uh, a ripping uh, pieces of cherry and then uh, do a glue up and then uh, planing it down and then cutting all my pieces that I will need for, uh, 
for the uh, second part of the board. Okay, so here what happened is that uh, miscalculated uh, my width for the cherry. Uh, so I don't have enough. So what I ended up doing is made another board and I just finished cutting it. So basically the same way, but just to add on to this one. So I don't want it because it's obviously a bit different. So I don't want it to uh, show too much. So what I'm going to do is just split in the middle. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got eight on this side and I've got four of those. So what I'm going to do is just put one piece in between each of the other ones like that and that way the pattern will be the same okay now that this is done uh, something that I've added on to my uh, my uh, cherry setup is that I've added a strip that's a bit narrower so you can see this one is pretty wide they're, they're all the same but the end one's a bit thinner and the reason for that is because I don't want all my glue joint to be exactly in the same place I can actually flip one over leave one flip one over leave one flip one over and leave one and like that so that way all my glue joints end up being staggered so now that I've flipped them from end to end, uh, I'm going to uh, leave two alone and then I'm going to flip those ones over and then leave two alone and flip those over. So that way the grain direction gets all mixed up and actually uh, helps with the integrity of the whole block. So now that all my pieces are uh, ready to go, I'm proceeding to the glue up. Uh, so basically it's the same as before uh, and I'll be using the same technique uh, for with, with the straight edge once all my pieces are glued together and uh, snugged in, I'm gonna add that uh, piece of straight edge to bring them all together. That, that minimizes the amount of waste. Uh, after the after the glue up because I'm gonna have to throw both both uh, edges of the board where they're gonna meet up for the their own glue up and I'm gonna do that on the on the belt sander uh, they're gonna be clamped together like you can see right here and uh, then I can do the glue up for those ones uh, the next glue up after this one is uh, so basically I made another uh, board uh, of cherry just for the ends and then uh, I'll be gluing that up you can see that as well uh, so I'm gluing the end caps which are a bunch of strips laminated and plain down and then the two uh, blocks at the ends are going to be uh, glued on only for uh, the the planer, so basically they're gonna take care of the snipes, and they also um, gonna take care of chip outs. So because they're in there, there's not gonna be uh, any chip outs. So I'm doing all the rough uh, planing with old blades, and I just changed my blades to brand new ones on this one. And I'm doing micro adjustment because it's end grain, so it's really really hard on the planer. So it takes a, a lot of passes. Once everything is done, I'm just uh, cutting up uh, those blocks at the ends and I'm gonna make sure it's all square and nice. So this is without a doubt the part I've been waiting for.
So as uh, you see me finishing the board, uh, I want to take a minute and uh, just thank you all for uh, watching the video and please uh, like and share uh, if you you feel that it's worth it. And also if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, you can do so by clicking the link uh, that appears on the screen right now. There's going to be more videos of uh, woodworking and also luthery uh, coming up uh, pretty soon. So uh, thanks again for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video.